Welcome, fellow YouTubers, my fellow taxpayers and disciples. This is the Oilfield Disciple. We're cruising with Jesus way out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'll flip you around. We'll we'll look at what I'm looking at here in just a minute. Let me introduce Mama Bear. Uh, what we're going to talk about in this video is going to be quite hurtful, quite painful. Uh, but it's truth. It'll be truth because the Bible said so, and we're living it right now. What are we living in? Let's flip this thing around, and we will uh, show you and talk to you as we go. All right. What am I going to talk about today? Well, this is a, a very touchy subject. We in this culture have dumbed down our speech and taken away the sting of death by using such terms as abortion and fetuses. And I touched on this in another video earlier, but we're gonna get depth today. And this video might go quite long. We are way out here in the middle of nowhere, as you can see, um, but there is some kind of cool stuff that we run across out here. I am actually off work today. So me and Mama Bear just cruising around, we're talking about things and the, the hot topic right now is murdering babies uh, viciously. We watched a video earlier of how it goes down and how the baby is ripped out of the mother's womb, bit by bit, piece by piece, head crushed. It is a very gory and gruesome video, but it is necessary that we use that video to teach y'all that this word abortion needs to be replaced and every follower of Christ's vocabulary no longer use the word abortion, but it is murder, it's plain and simple. Is it's gross, hurtful. I don't blame these women that are doing these. They've been lied to. They've been deceived. Just like Eve. Yeah, no clue Eve. how this is done or what they're doing. Exactly. And because we've dumbed down the speech, we've took the sting of death out of death. Now granted, these babies have a golden ticket straight to heaven. That's the glory. Um... But we on earth, those of us that God has called in, in Isaiah chapter 62, he says, I have placed watchmen on the wall to watch day and night and to ring out the alarm when the enemy is at the gates. Well, I am a watchman on the wall. As a disciple of Jesus Christ, learning the truth, I watch and I see. I may not like being in the politics, but being an ex three percenter, and I say X because now Christ is first in my life rather than this country. But I have to live in this country. I have to see what's going on and I have to educate those who are uneducated. And part of that is this, this thing of abortion. I don't like it. We have just passed a law and not only passed the law, but we celebrated it. I say we because we didn't do nothing about it in the church. We sat idly by and was quiet. We said nothing, and they celebrated with with uh, parades of people celebrating this murdering these children, these babies in the mother's womb. What kind of wicked evilness are we living in? I'm going to tell you what. Just like Jeremiah, he sounded the alarm. He told the people, repent and turn from your sins and follow God. They refused to listen. Jeremiah's words went on deaf ears in that time. And I see Jeremiah's ear, words falling on deaf ears today. He's telling us to repent. John the Baptist came to prepare the way for our Lord Jesus Christ. His message was repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Do we not understand that God's kingdom is at hand? Do we not understand that this is his world, his creation, and we are his creation, and we are to follow what he says to do, and when we don't, there is judgment to be done. I'm going to tell you what, America is under judgment right now. And all you people who call her, God bless America, you better sit down, get on your knees and repent. God ain't blessing this country. He's fixing to put her into bondage. His next move is judgment with a wicked country, with a wicked people that is more wicked than us, that will take us and put us in bondage. Right now there is a, there is a faction, a religion, that is more wicked than anything on this planet. And it's headed by our enemy, Satan. 
it is Islam. Islam is coming for us. They have they are outnumbering us here in this country and they're taking us over by force. They're taking us over peacefully, I mean, sorry, not by force. Peacefully as they go into our our Congress. There is I know five members that are elected to the Congress right now who have their country flags in their office rather than the American flag. Do you think they are for the American people? Absolutely not. They're here to take you down. But you're sitting idly by, enjoying your life. Keep buying your toys, keep putting your head in the sand, and you just keep just doing what you do. Don't do nothing. Well, I'm a watchman on the wall, and I'm going to cry out. I got some, uh, some ideas that I'm fixing to incorporate, and part of that is I'm going to have to go down to the school board, and I'm going to see if I can't put this video in this school of how babies are ripped out of their mother's womb. It may be a fight. But me and my wife, Mama Bear, we're ready for that fight. We're going to get it on. Because we're not cowards. We have been guarded up with God's armor. He told me two months ago, three months ago, to prepare for war. I didn't know what he really meant. Now I do. I'm going to war against this baby murder. I'd like to get some people to join me. I got one I know of. Well, actually two I know of. Uh, we're going to see what happens. Look at this. This, this is who we just elected into our, into our White House. These people are in our White House. This is who we've got elected in our White House right now. That symbol Do y'all know Islam. this? I didn't know this. Okay. She just put it out there for you. Alright. Um. Uh, what are we doing? Where's my watchmen on the wall that are sounding the alarm? I know a couple are, but ain't nobody listening. Jeremiah 29 11 says, I know the plans for you. I plan to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. We shout that all day long and I laugh at people when they use that verse because they don't have a clue what it's talking about. Jeremiah's telling the people, you're fixing to go into bondage for 40 years. But at the end of that 40 years, you're going to be submitted back to God and God's going to bless you and prosper you. It's a cycle and it's going to, fixing to come to America. We've already been judged with the first judgment of Romans 20, uh, 128 that he will hand them over to a reprobate mind. Half of the members of Congress have been handed over to a reprobate mind. When you hear Hillary Clinton speak out, when you hear Nancy Pelosi speak out, all that spews out of their mouths is wickedness and vile corruption. And if you think anything other than that, you need to pull your head out of the sand and get in with the book. I don't know where you are with your walk with Christ, um, but you need to get there. Psalms 91 says, find the secret place of the Most High. That's what started my walk five years ago, was trying to figure out what the secret place of the Most High was. Well, it's following His Word. John 15, uh, 15, 16, or 14, John 14, 15 says, if you love me, you'll keep my commands. We think here in this country, under the prosperity gospel, that His commands are, uh, come to the altar, say you're saved, say you've accepted Jesus, and go live like hell the rest of your life. You're fooling yourself, and you're going to wind up in hell. He wants you to have all these toys. He wants you to be rich. He wants you to be happy and, and do what you want to do. That's wrong. It's going to get you nowhere. You know, I, I, like I said, I was, a, I was an adamant constitutionalist, and I still am. I believe in the Constitution. It's probably one of those brilliant things that's ever been written by man other than the scriptures of the Bible inspired by God. Um written by man inspired by God other than the Bible the US Constitution is the most awesome piece of literature ever written to govern anything other than what the Bible says which we also keep I keep right here I keep my declaration of independence I'm ready I know it um, but I found God and that was more important and God showed me that I don't need to protect myself well yeah, I need to protect myself. I need to be prepared at all times. I still have my guns. Um, I still will fight against an enemy that comes in my household. I'm not naive and stupid. 
Uh, but I do know that from experience that when I don't have my gun, God is there to protect me until my time is up. God will, God's design is going to keep me safe, whether I'm happy about it or not. What are we doing? What are we doing on the wall? What are the people doing that are down there hearing us on the wall shout? Danger's coming, war's coming, and you fight against us. You say we're stupid. You say we are, uh, oh, what's that word whenever? Conspiracy theorists. Well, a lot of our conspiracies seem to be coming true. There's a hearse right there. That's where we're all going to wind up one day. But are we going to live in a nation that we let just go to hell because we kept our head in the sand? We ain't preaching out. Better pull your head out of the sand. I'm telling you, I can't say it hard enough, loud enough. You people better people get this. People don't even realize what, what, who's in our offices. We don't even realize that we're being taken over. What are you going to do whenever there's more more members in Congress that are um, Islamists and they, they go ahead and declare that the Constitution is over with and now we are going to s submit Sharia law? You ladies better really pay attention because under Sharia law, y'all in trouble. And us men, we're going to watch our women get raped and pillaged because we sat back and did nothing. That's Sharia law. That's Islam. That's Islam. We better open our eyes. You guys are fooling yourself. I'm a little pissed right now because of what I've heard and what I've read this morning. Do we? Do you realize, like, it, it was brought to our attention, which we know, but because we travel. But you go to motels and you go to gas stations in a lot of states. And they are ran by who? Indians. Who works them? Indians. That's a pretty antelope. Good, good Okay, food. we've been taking over. My dad said we'd be taking over from within back when I was a kid. I didn't My understand what he said. Too. Well, we're seeing it because we've remained silent. You know, Maureen O'Hare in 1963 didn't like the prayer in the schools and by herself, one little woman went and changed that law. Why in the hell is the church one of the biggest organizations in the world? The Christian church. And they ain't done nothing. I don't call myself a Christian. I am a disciple of Jesus Christ. I don't call myself a Christian because Christians do not follow the law of the book of, the book of Christ. The Holy Bible, they don't follow it. They pick and choose what they want to follow out of there, and they, they make excuses for the rest. And none of us follow the Torah. So, me and my wife has made a decision. We're going to change that. We started changing that about a year ago. We are starting to follow God's law. A lot we're of people back make, to the beginning. A lot of people make fun of us. I don't care. We are going to become a peculiar people. I'm going to shout out the Word of God everywhere I go, like it or not. My YouTube channel is to inspire you, to uplift you, but even to frustrate you and piss you off. That's what that's what my YouTube channel is about. Piss you off so you'll go look it up yourself to prove me wrong, and in the process you'll see what I'm saying. When everything goes falls apart, you what 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 do you do? You go back to the beginning and you start over. We decided to go back to the beginning and start over got it wrong in there our country has got it wrong in there and we're fixing to be we are being turned over to a reprobate we're being turned over to another country we're going into bondage people they're fixing we're going to be taken over you understand we're going to have to go into hide i'm no prophet by no means hiding but i can read the bible and i can watch cycles of nations and we're in our last cycle. We're fixing to be a new nation under Islamic rule. I don't like it. I'm probably going to wind up in the woods being hunted like an animal. Because if you don't think that they don't know that, that he's against all this because of his Facebook page and his videos, we're wrong. We, we know they probably got him on an X mark. Like, oh. nope, he's not going to be for it. And they've got some people on a check mark, like, oh yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna be easily turned. 
you know, these people are already turned. We've already got these people. What are you going to do? Where do you stand in that? Where do we stand in that? Where are our children standing that? I've got teenagers. A beautiful, both of my beautiful daughters. I don't want them to be taken. I'm worried. Make sure we're still recording. And so, today I'm, I'm heartbroken. We all should be. Where my country's going? What we're supposed to, what am I, what am I supposed to do? I cannot sit back and just do this. Watch it go down like this. And where am I gonna, where are we gonna go? And those we love around us, how are we gonna tell them about all this? Because I know they don't know. We go preach the truth. And some will listen, and most won't. It's the pattern of God's word. See, all I gotta do is look at the pattern of God's word and what happened throughout the times and look at what's going on around me, put two and two together, and I see what's fixing to happen. And now we like gotta I said, I'm no prophet, it. and I'm not prophesying. I'm telling you what the Bible has, has showed me over the years. Um, it's pretty simple when you look at it. We've made it complicated. Well, keep complicating it. That's your choice. And we've kept our head in the sand. Keep being a Christian. Keep following that, God, that wealth, health, and prosperity bullshit. Keep it up. And um, you're going to see what happens. Yes, sir, I'm a pastor. But you know what? It does no good sometimes, I feel, when I preach and preach and preach and nobody's getting it. Somebody hears it, though. I've seen, I'm seeing lives change by just speaking out the truth. I've had to learn that most aren't going to listen. And most who watch this video probably already paused it, stopped it, or ended it by now. That's all right. You go ahead. Keep your head in the sand. Be the first one in the concentration camp. You know, because they're going to offer you great things. Come here to this little colony and we'll, we'll give you free health care. We'll give you free college. We'll give you free food. We just require a little work out of you. And this is perfect. They're going to make it look good and appealing. You're going to fall forward hook, line, and sinker. Get on that train and get on over there. That's exactly what happened to the Jews in the Holocaust. 1942, 43, 41, I think is when it actually started. Um... Go for it. Get it on. It's up to you. You can fight against it, or you can just go with the flow. I'm going to fight against it. I'm going to spit out the truth every minute Tell I get. I'm going to yell it from the loudest towers. I'm going to yell it from this YouTube channel. Stop the baby murders. Write your congressman. Stand in the streets and protest if we have to. I'm going to the school board to show this video in front of all the school. I am going to put it out there everywhere. It is such a horrible video when you watch it. You're like, that should end your any idea of, well, the mom was raped. Uh, she should be able to have abortion. Bull. I hope every Bull. I hope the doctors. God is in control. He is a right. sovereign right. God. And when that baby's born throughout rape, it is of God's will. And you can like that or you can not like that. I really don't care. Um, read it for yourself. I hope that frustrates you. Go read it up. Uh, you'll find it in Leviticus. You'll find it in Leviticus, uh, probably chapter 16, I believe. It talks about rape and what the consequences sure are. Does. Um, I taught I taught rape to my youth. So you have to teach it. It's not something we like, but it's in the Bible. There's no excuse for an abortion, even if the mother is at risk. If that's the way it is, that's God's will. You may not murder. like it. I may not like it, but I got to live by it. There's some things God's making me change I don't like. I hate it, but I'm doing it because I love my Lord, and he asked me to do it. Y'all, you know, this is uh, one of those days that I really didn't know what to say in this video. I'm frustrated. I'm mad. I'm angry that our mm -hmm. country is allowing this. I'm angry that people are happy about this. Um... This video is not like my normal ones, but I hope this has blessed you, encouraged you to fight this battle with me. I hope it's frustrated you so you go prove me wrong and find that I'm right. Get on the board with me to fight against this baby murder. I use the term abortion every now and again just to, because I know that people aren't aware of what I'm talking about when I say baby murder. 
they assume baby outside the womb. Y'all, we got to get out of this head in the sand idea. We've got to start doing something, guys. Our, our lives are at stake. Our children's lives even more so are at stake. Please it, watch the video. It, it is... It sucks, guys. Here's the deal. But you, we have to stand up. Our, our school system is no longer an education system. It's an indoctrination camp. Absolutely. It's and we have our, no control over what they teach anymore, but that's guys. Okay. Yeah, we do. We do have control. Because when our children come home, we have to engage in conversation with them so we can correct what the school has indoctrinated them on. Plain and simple. Correct. That's what we do. That's what um, we do. But, but so, we need to encourage you. But need to other, help other mothers too. and fathers need to do the to same. Do the same. We can't be so busy with what we're doing that we forget about but our this children. The world around us. So be blessed, be encouraged, be frustrated. This is the oil field disciple. I'm getting off and here. Mama and Mama Bear. And y'all have a blessed day in Jesus' name.